for a spot in that coveted top eight on the big stage. We are getting into it, Stranded versus Kroby. This is going to be very exciting stuff. Both these guys known for their incredible DI. Kroby just runs up and up smashes the side platform. Kroby. True online special. <laughs> yeah, he's doing the P1, P2 gimmick from online here in person. Stranded's first stock just disappearing. And Stranded effectively starting the game with three stocks. But Kroby maybe starting with three, two. No, some DI there keeps himself alive. Yeah, and Stranded went for such a tough link there, going for the neutral air into a shine. Probably trying to set up like a double shine. Could yeah. absolutely have just grabbed to finish out that combo. Yeah, it was a little weird to see the shine there uh, because, you know, it's a tech. You have plenty of time. It's not like you need to use the fastest option in the game, right? Like yeah, you have well, other moves. The reason the tech happened was because he missed the shine link off of that Nair combo. Oh, he, he, was, he wasn't even trying to make a tech. Yeah, he wow, was trying really, to hit really it technical. before the tech, yeah, and it could have just grabbed and thrown Falcon off the stage, but Stranded was able to take the first stock off of Krovi. Oh, look at that jab. Just interrupting whatever Krovi was trying to do. Stranded, one of my favorite players to watch in this matchup. I love how he uses the lasers aggressively. A lot of Fox players are able to use lasers. There we go, we see that jump away laser into grab. He's just so good at it. Nobody plays Fox in this matchup like Stranded. A lot of people can use Fox lasers, you know, as kind of a camping tool, as kind of a play neutral for me button. But instead, Stranded is able to use them aggressively to bait out yeah, defensive setting up options. That, that pressure. But Krovi, no slouch himself, able to escape some of that pressure. Misses the edge guard just barely. Stranded gets the grab. Can Krovi recover? Great use of that up B, or the neutral B, sorry. And Stranded lets him back. Yeah, he's not been able to find this kill. He's had so many long strings and openings on his stock, but just has sort of been chasing Krovi around the stage and not finishing his food. Yeah, Stranded getting a lot of openings, but you know, another really technical part of this matchup is that edge guarding against Falcon. And when a Fox player can do it well, it looks incredible. It's like this beautiful coordination of all of Fox's attacks. But when you can't quite do it, it just seems like Falcon will make it back every time. And it can be, uh, can be really frustrating. Calling out the probably up smash out of shield attempt from Kroby that up tilt I mean, immediately after the drill. And look at the tech chase finally going for a grab on a tech chase. And for the first time, and showing why that grab at the ledge is so powerful. It just sets up such an easy edge guard for Fox, able to capitalize on that Falcon punch recovery, necessitated by the distance of the fourth throw created. Yeah, Stranded's aggression is just so hard to shut down as Falcon because as soon as you press that up smash button, suddenly you're hitting thin air, he's jumped away, and then he's gonna just gonna grab you and kill you. It's uh, it's so difficult as Falcon. Roby, oh. and anyone's gonna do it, he finds that teeter cancel grab, so cool. But Rushes stranded. across the stage. Turning anyone's up, look at these lasers. Yeah, he just keeps Kroby locked in place as he makes his way across the entire stage. <laughs> stranded firing some sort of triple laser. It feels like his gun shoots faster than everyone else's. Misses that tech chase though, tries to go for that tech chase grab, and Kroby has one more shot. It. Yeah, Kroby got caught without the double jump there. So my read on that, it felt like Stranded was completely dominant for that entire game, except when it came for to edge guarding. Yeah. He's like a top, you know, top 12, top eight player with the edge guards of like a D2 player. It's honestly strange because edge guarding might be one of the easiest parts of the matchup to learn to, how to do as Fox. Yeah, like at this level of play, it's something that you would just expect them to execute on. Yeah, it's it's not easy. I don't want to want to make it sound like it's easy. Uh, it can be pretty complex as Fox, but it's also like a yeah. flow chart where once you master yeah, it, yeah. You're, you're basically doing the same thing. Yeah, once, once you have learned how to do it, you should be able to execute on it. It's a complex flow chart, but a flow chart that's the same each time, and it just seems like Stranded doesn't have it down. He's trying to freestyle. Uh, these edge guards, and it just has not been working out for him. Goes for the yeah. dash attack here, another sure, dash attack. Yeah, and the down air, Krovi's gonna but Why is he that? down airing? Yeah, he, <laughs> it's such a strange move the, choice against Krovi. The key thing that Stranded is missing right now is those down tilts. That's such an important option in the Falcon edge Yeah, the guard. down tilt shine. Down tilt Even shine, like a forward angle. to a narrow. Yeah, you know, the forward angle down tilt, or forward down, down angle forward tilt, excuse me. Yeah, that another is powerful cool. tool. Yeah, it's like the same purpose as the drill, but it doesn't give him the opportunity to DI through those multiple. Hits. Yeah, it's it's weird that you're right that down tilt into shine or down tilt into nair is such a classic fox edge guard tool and he just seems like refuses to do it. 
Uh, it's hardly an unintuitive one either. Of course, the down to massive hitbox that covers the ledge. So all that said, though, it seems like it doesn't matter too much for Stranded here. He's just dominating so hard in the neutral and all over Krovi with these punishes. I love how he oh misses the back here though. Yeah. Even grabbing the ledge would have worked. Instead, he lets Krovi yeah. fade around Krovy, the Krovy back did air. Did not quite get the movement he was looking for during that up air sequence and had to cash out early on that combo with an up B. Probably one up air earlier than he wanted to, but was able to close out the edge guard regardless. Catching Stranded descending from that up B. And Krovy. how do you get off the ledge here as Falcon? Oh, it is so tough. He gets the, the weirdest bounce off the stage, too. Stranded just absolutely does not yeah. believe in holding the ledge. Bears him twice. Falcon is so low when he's hanging off the ledge that that DI gave him a, the stage wall bounce on the on the lower wall, which knocked him away off of the down tilt. Do you think he even meant to DI that down tilt? It was so weird. He might have just been trying to get off the ledge. Well, that pivot time. to ledge from Stranded so flashy. Oh, look at Kirby just fast fall up airing off of the side platform on the other side of the stage. Yeah, he's trying to keep the hands moving. Krovi, an extremely technical player. And that's something we see a lot with these kind of newer players. You know, krovi has been playing a few years, but the guys that haven't been in it for a decade are often the most technical because they see this text go and think, there's no reason I can't do that, you know? Krovi finding the backer on Stranded's Fox, able to even the stock count up. The laser. Falcon just dashing Ooh, straight under these absolutely lasers. Absolutely wanted to go for an up smash there. Yeah, right a little bit late on the scene. Getting caught. On Krovi. Fox's back air, just going to beat out the Falcon Forder completely. Then extracted another stock. Yeah, Krovi using that taunt cancel at the edge as a spacing tool. Something that I think is really cool that uh, that Krovi's been innovating with. But Stranded just sees straight through it. You know, he's been taunt canceling for ages and is able to chase him down. Finds that up air here. This is, yeah. could be a huge opening. No jump for Falcon. And he's, he's going for the high make combo yeah. contest. Laser down air is stranded. What are you going for right now? Yeah, he had that position where he could just do anything. Getting those up airs against Fox with or against Falcon with no jump. I think That's that show it demonstrates a level of confidence from Stranded, though. You know, just the caliber of player he is when he's up this much. He just gets into the comfort zone, and you know we haven't been seeing what I would call optimal Fox punishes throughout this set so no, far. No, absolutely. We not. are just seeing Stranded sort of going rabid on Krovi, just chasing him around the stage and mauling him and suffocating the options, the laser usage, the drills. It's just, it's all a little bit too fast for Krovi to comprehend right now. Well, the thing is, Krovi can move incredibly fast. I mean, if you're watching those hand warmers, he's yeah. one of the fastest Falcons out there. But right, but the fast movement doesn't matter when it's getting interrupted by yeah, a wall of lasers. Constantly by lasers and by that up air like we yeah. saw. Fox and just like, has so many fast there's, moves. There's more than one way you can be fast in this game. Krovi is really fast in that rehearsed movement way. But another very important aspect is how fast you are when something you're not ready for happens. When you're moving around and you get interrupted by that laser or hit by that Fox downer that you weren't expecting, how quickly do you react to that and choose the right option? And so far, Krovi has not been able to do that. Yeah, that's something that's sort of unique about this matchup as far as Falcon matchups go. I mean, there's a lot of matchups where you need to play carefully and neutral and find your way in. But there's not so many where you have to deal with this not true pressure, you know? Yeah. Like against Pikachu, you, you just get hit and he throws you off and then you have to do a tricky recovery. But at Fox, it's like he's hitting you with five moves, each just barely that don't combo, and you need to find the tiny window in between. Be Stranded with some massive DI, Stranded but it doesn't started quite this get match him out. off with much more patient, careful neutral than we've seen so far this set. There was a lot of lasering on the side platform. I don't think that bodes well for him. I think the the overwhelming style that he was going for in these first games is going to be much more effective against a player like Krovi, who has shown time and time again that he's one of the most patient Falcons out there. It just seems like Stranded is not able to cover the ledge when Krovi's recovering. Yeah. Krovi yeah, recovers lasers. low, he just gets back every time. Just keeping Krovi locked down in the corner. Every time? Yeah. Stranded, Krovi. what are you doing? Oh, he wanted that downer trade so bad. Stranded giving Krovi so many extra lives here. Yeah, finally but the dash attack. Finally, yeah, out. secures it. And Fox. That's tough to follow up. Yeah, Krovi tried to go for the taunt cancel. Wasn't confident. Ooh, the down air. Sneaky. Just, yeah, Krovi, though, holding on to the ledge through that down air. 
able to force Stranded to recover from below, which is a situation he knows how to capitalize on every time. And Krovi now up a clean stock for the first time in this set. Yeah, and that back air, that could be big. Stranded Ooh, DI is DI. so good. These are two of the players with like the strongest DI in the whole community. Yeah, if you ask, you know, you make a Facebook post, who has the best DI? These are two guys that are going to be the first and second comment that people will bring up. I think that literally happened within the last few months. I believe it did, yeah. Oh, look at the what down DI that? Stranded. He really wants to survive right now. Kroby up three stocks to one, going for an America combo. And Stranded not DIing that downer. Maybe uh, wasn't expecting the downer off of that forward throw. Kroby kind of calling that out. And this is where, you know, on the, board. the mental game starts to happen because Stranded is a player that gets frustrated. You can see it on his face. Just how disappointed he looks with the result of that game. And we have a Kirby switch from Stranded. Stranded switches to Kirby before Kirby even confirms his character choice. He says, my Kirby can take any of your cast. Except he doesn't. Oh, he never switches mind. right back, switches to, back to what is happening? Okay, it's a mind game. Stranded is crazy. Yes, yeah, Stranded beating him. I don't know. Uh, for those that there. aren't familiar, the winner needs to pick their character first. Stranded just rushes into it instead and then yeah, switches I, I back. I guess that's perfectly in a sort legal. Of bizarre way. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess you can do that. I, I don't know. Oh, Krovi finding an up air into neutral air and the up smash going through Fox's jab. Was that a shield jump through the jab or was it just up smash beating it? I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I couldn't tell what happened either. But we do know is that Krovi was once again able to take the first stock here in this game. And look at that grab. Yeah, it it stranded, like just sort of falling apart. He had an opening there he's where Krovi didn't have a jump, but he couldn't get anything on off it. It's movements a little bit now. Yeah, it feels like the, the DI from Stranded is just so strong. He couldn't even get the Falcon up air at the blinks. Yeah, it feels like Stranded starting to you know, miss some inputs. Okay, but he's getting Krovi off of the stage. He just refuses yeah. to cover the ledge. He won't down tilt. He won't down tilt. He won't even hold the ledge. He just believes in letting his opponent grab it corner, again. Though. Oh, he holds the ledge that time. He finally oh. does. Yeah. All right, that, that key adjustment from Stranded coming and deciding, OK, I will edge guard Falcon. OK, I guess, I guess you are supposed to edge guard against Falcon. You have, you have Something you realize a, on game four of the yeah, set. Yeah, you have unlocked a new difficulty. <laughs> Stranded is edge guarding now. <laughs> That is tough. Krovi is pushing him that hard. Yes, but it does seem like one way he's oh, pushing him is in the neutral. He finds his way in, but yeah. Stranded just kicks him right back out again yeah, with the shine. Definitely could have landed an up smash there, but wasn't confident enough to go for it. Yeah, uh, I think he had already idea, planned out that he wanted to run behind him. He has this idea of running through the lasers, uh, but it did not pan out at all there. He just caught one right in the face and Stranded off of that neutral opening. So Krovi potentially stock. on his tournament final stock here, starting a combo, but just gets shined out. Oh, and, and that up smash, up smash. bait. It's with the dash attack, the downer start. There's the down tilt. Kirby he he did the stage. down tilt. He's trying to big combo, two backers. He's not confident enough to follow it up. Chasing Kirby. He could get out of this, but he reads the tech in place. Back throw. Kirby so far Looking the ledge. so good. This Just needs to it. grab the ledge, and he does it. Stranded. Stranded moving on to the winner or loser's top eight qualifier. And Kirby out at 13th place. Yeah, still a great finish there for Kirby. Yeah. But Stranded, in the final moments of that final game, realizes that you are allowed to edge guard Falcon. Yeah, Stranded was playing such a strange style of Fox, and Krovi just seemed a little bit thrown off of it by it. Uh, he wasn't acting out of those pressures.